Welcome back to Mugen. This is part six of this series, and in this part, we are going to be reviewing more uh, characters and stages as usual. Although in this part, I'm going to do something a little bit different. In this part, I'm going to be reviewing mostly stages. There are a couple characters I want to review, but for the most part, this is going to be uh, me mostly reviewing uh, stages in this part of Mugen. So, yeah, with that being said, let's dive right into the action, I guess. So first of all, we have Captain Falcon from F-Zero and Dr. Jero from Dragon Ball Z, specifically from the Android Saga, I believe. So let's go see what these characters are all about. And we also have other random characters here as well, because we're in a uh, team match here, so let's do it. So I'm just going to start this up here. The SCP Containment Breach, uh, the SCP Containment Breach, uh, these guys would stop talking. The SCP Containment Breach stage is a uh, stage I already reviewed. I reviewed this stage in uh, part 3, I believe, so yeah. Anyway, uh, we do have some new stages here that we are going to review, however. So first of all, we have Captain Falcon, as you can see. Now, again, just like Wario, Captain Falcon is very small, and I have no idea why. But, basically, and, okay, the game's the game's already lagging, and I just started recording this. Seriously. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Captain Falcon here has a lot of uh, moves here. He has Falcon Punch, and Falcon Kick, and Falcon... Whatever the heck you name it. And Sorry about that, guys. I actually had to stop recording there for a second, because... Firefox just randomly closed on me. I have no idea why, but it just randomly closed on me for some reason. I don't know what the heck happened, but anyway, yeah, he has Falcon Punch, Falcon Kick, and a whole other bunch of Falcon moves here. And I believe Captain Falcon also has a uh, perfect AI because, well, look how buck wild he's going right here, so pretty sure he has perfect AI. Not really sure how to change that exactly, so yeah. That's really all I have to say about Captain Falcon. And, uh, Captain, and, uh, actually, no, not Captain Falcon. Dr. Jero here, from, uh, Dragon Ball Z. And Dr. Jero is kind of interesting, because as you can see, not only is Dr. Jero fighting here, and shooting exploding lasers out of his eyes, but he also has, uh, Android 19 here, uh, fighting for him as well. So, yeah. So we actually have, uh, five characters battling here, technically, but... Android 19 is a, uh, is computer controlled, so you don't need to worry about controlling Android 19. So, if you're playing as Dr. Zero. So, yeah. And Dr. Zero has a, well, like I said, he has that attack where he shoots lasers out of his eyes and the lasers explode. And he also has a bunch of punches and kicks, so, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about, uh, Dr. Jero here, so, and he's also created, and he was also created by the same, uh, person that created the Vegeta and Goku, uh, characters as well, so, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say right here, and Dib is, yep, Dib's just firing his shotgun as usual, although I don't know how exactly he's hitting characters that are behind him exactly. I don't know if that's due to, like, a bug with the collision detection here, but it probably is. I don't know. Anyway, I guess we'll be moving on to, uh, stages I want to review now, then. So, this stage, as you can see right here, is a YouTube stage. Now, it's not the modern-day YouTube, as you can obviously tell. It is the old YouTube. From, like, uh, the late 2000s, basically. So, yeah. Got the old video layout here. And you have Hotel Mario playing in the background. And, yeah, this is the old website layout of YouTube. And, you know, it's really nostalgic seeing uh, the old YouTube layout, because, to be honest with you guys, I haven't seen the old uh, YouTube layout in a very long time, and seeing it again here in Mugen just brings back a lot of nostalgia. This That was back in a time when YouTube was... Well, not complete crap. So, that's really all I can say. 
even has the, uh, well, if the characters move to the right over here, if Dr. Giro stops firing his exploding lasers, I could see this over here. What the heck? But yeah, basically, it's the old uh, website layout, and if they go to the left over here, uh, you'll also see that it has the uh, old rating system, which is the uh, which is the uh, five star rating system, or just the star rating system. So yeah, good old star rating system. Although to be honest, to be honest, I do kind of like the old, uh, not the old. What am I talking about? I like the uh, new rating system that YouTube has, the like and dislike rating system, because personally, I think it's much more accurate than uh, you know a star rating system. So. Just saying. I personally think it's more accurate. So, as you can see, you have the old uh, rating system there. If you could, well, if you could even see it there. The background keeps changing because Captain Falcon keeps using his special moves. So, yeah, there's the rating system right there, as you can see. So, the old rating system tells you how many ratings uh, the video has and whatnot. So, yeah. Good old, well, old YouTube. So, really all I can say. Definitely a much better design than what YouTube has today, I will I'll say that, so. Actually, I'm starting to wonder something. Why does Dib have, why is one of, like, Dib's special moves right here, like, him with a shotgun? Like, does Dib use a shotgun in, like, the Invader Zim cartoon? No, he doesn't. So why does he have an attack like that exactly? Like, I, I don't, I don't get it. And not to mention, it's obviously a shotgun, so how can it fire so fast? Like, see, look at that. It's obviously a shotgun, so how how is it firing that fast? Is it like a, I don't know, a submachine shotgun or something? Like, what the heck? I don't, I don't understand it. Anyway, let's move on to the next, uh, let's move on to the next uh, stage here. So, this stage right here is a Simpson stage, as you can see. And, yeah... We got the entire Simpsons family just sitting under couch outside for some reason and just watching the battle unfold here on the sidewalk. So yeah, battling here on the sidewalk and how exactly is Homer sitting on his couch in the background when he is actually involved in this incredible match right here? Who's the real Homer Simpson then? Also, if you wait long enough, uh, the Homer in the background will occasionally blink, so... Alright, well now I'm just wondering who the heck the real Homer Simpson is in this in this fight here. Is it the one on the couch, or is it the one actually battling? So, that's really all I have to say about uh, this stage. Also, the stage name is uh, Familia Simpson, so I believe that's in, uh, it's in Spanish. I think that's because the uh, creator of this... Uh, the creator of this stage is Spanish, I believe, so, yeah. Actually, the original creator of this, uh, of this, uh, version of Homer Simpson right here for Mugen is actually Spanish. But it's, it's just that this version of Homer Simpson is an edited version of the original. Basically, the only thing that the person of this, uh, the person that created this version of Homer Simpson, uh, changed are the voice clips. Originally, Homer's voice clips were in Spanish, and they were basically edited so that he speaks in English now. But that's the only real thing uh, they changed with this version of Homer. But it's essentially the uh, it's essentially the Spanish version of Homer, just with English voice clips. So yeah. And okay, what the heck is? I don't know what the heck attack that was that Doctor Zero did right there. And Dib's just floating in the air, firing not even bullets out of the shotgun. Again, the things that he's firing out of the shotgun are not even bullets. When I turn the hitboxes on, it says that the things he's firing out of his bullets are beams. So I don't, I don't even know. Okay, wrecking balls and random explosion. Okay. Well, I do realize Dr. Zero is supposed to be an android, but still. Dr. Jiro is an android. He's also known as Android 20, I believe. And here comes uh, Div with the Super Soaker. Alright. Effective against androids. 
not really. Wow, okay, he's shooting Homer right in the face, for goodness sakes. It's gotta hurt. Anyway, let's go on to the next stage. So this stage is the Pokemon Stadium. Uh, this is the Pokemon Stadium as it appears in Super Smash Bros. Melee. As you can see, it's uh, very low quality here, because I think it's just like an image of uh, the stage from Melee, so yeah. It's pretty much the same thing, it's been converted into a Mugen stage. The TV screen in the background, instead of showing like, uh, I guess like close-ups of some of the characters uh, participating in the, in the match here, uh, it's just static. Because it does that in Melee, but I think no such feature uh, exists in uh, Mugen. Like, you can't do that in Mugen. At least not right now, anyway. Or you just might not be able to, like, ever, but... Anyway. Just watching Dr. Giro fire his explosive lasers at uh, Gib and Captain Falcon. I don't know, I'm, I'm not really, I don't really seem to be talking that much in this part of Mugen. Mainly because, well, there isn't really much to talk about. I mean, these stages are just simple as can be. This is just, uh, this stage is just based on the, the Pokemon Stadium stage from Super Smash Bros. Melee. I mean, that's really all there is to say. There's nothing, there's nothing really special about it. So, not really anyway. I'm just watching this match unfold here. Let me look at the hitboxes again. Okay. Yeah, I noticed Android 19 doesn't even have uh, hitboxes. Which makes sense, because he's basically like an, an assist character, I guess. So you can't damage Android 19. Just uh, Dr. Jero here. Darn, Captain Falcon is like punching Homer in the crotch right here. That's gonna to be really painful. And I think a while ago he did like a he did like a Falcon punch to Homer's crotch. I mean that's that's not very good. I mean getting a getting a Falcon punch to the crotch must be extremely painful. I mean seriously. You think about it. Uh oh. What the heck are they doing to him? Oh, cancel out the attack? No, I guess not. Dr. Giro is on Homer Simpson's side, in case, of, in case you haven't already realized. Yeah, see, see, look at that. He's just constantly punching Homer in the crotch, and there's a falcon punch in the crotch, like, seriously. I guess Captain Falcon's small size isn't really all that bad. Helps him, somewhat. I guess. Oh yeah, and then there's also that attack. The next stage here is called Clash of the Weather Trio. This is another, uh, this is another Pokemon stage here, so as you can see, we're in, uh, I believe the, what was the name of that city from Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Ember? Was it Sutopolis City? I think this is Sutopolis City, but basically, Groudon and Kyogre and Rayquaz is here to, uh, to stop them, basically, from, basically stop them from destroying the entire world, or at least the entire world of Pokemon. I don't know, we can assume that the Pokemon universe is located, like, somewhere on Earth. Like, the Pokemon regions, I mean. But, maybe it's, like, Earth in a parallel universe or something. Like, I really don't know. It has to be Earth, because I don't know what other planet it could be. And it has to be a parallel universe where creatures like this can actually exist alongside humans. But I don't know. I think it definitely is a parallel universe, but, yeah. And actually, I shouldn't be pronouncing it Rayquaza, I should be pronouncing it Rayquaza, because a few months ago I discovered that, apparently, I had pro I had been pronouncing Rayquaza's name uh, wrong for, well, an extremely long amount of time. Apparently the official pronunciation is Rayquaza. Yeah, the Y is silent, apparently. But I did not know that the Y, is, that the y was silent, until, like, a few months ago, so, I don't know, it's kind of a weird pronunciation, just given how Rayquaza's name is spelled, but, again, just like with, with, uh, Mugen being pronounced Mugen, and not Mugen, um, if that's the way it's pronounced, then so be it, I don't know. 
So, that's really all I can say. Wow, Homer just got shot in the face again there. And he keeps getting stunned as well. Okay. I think we've got a bit too many things flashing on the screen here, but... Alright then. Alright, I think Homer did a headbutt there. At least I think it was a headbutt. Yeah, you'll notice that Homer's not really acting as intelligent as he was in, like, parts 3, 4, and 5. That's because I actually, um... Oh, well, he went into Deer Riot mode just right now. But as you can see, Homer's not really acting that intelligent because I lowered his, uh, his AI difficulty. I lowered it so that he's a bit more dumb. Not completely dumb, but just a bit more dumb. Like, I think most of the time he'll just try to regenerate his, uh, his spirit meter here. And not really attack that often. I mean, that's not exactly bad, because if you're playing in a team match, it just allows you to constantly spam your special moves here. And yes, I believe this thing is called a spirit meter, so... Or did I already mention that it's called a spirit meter in the, in the last part? I don't know. I have really bad memory, so... I think I mentioned that in part 5. I don't know, I recorded part 5 less than a month ago. If I seriously already forgot, then... That's just really sad. It's really sad, because I can remember things... Somehow I can remember things that happened over 10 years ago, and at the same time, I can't remember something that happened like 5 minutes ago. So that's just... My... I don't know, my brain is weird. But then again, isn't, isn't everyone's? I mean, like... What about dreams, for instance? I don't know, I'm not even gonna go there. I'm just, I'm just dragging this video on now for way too long here. Dr. Jiro just continues to fire lasers at, uh, Dib and Captain Falcon here. And Android 19's also doing some results in the air, so... They're just getting completely annihilated. And to be honest, that's pretty much all of the stages I wanted to review in this part, so... Yeah, not really that many stages I want to review, but it's just that I couldn't really find that many stages I thought were interesting, or that I even wanted to review at all. That goes for characters as well, so... Yeah, that's really all I can say. Also, the grunting sounds of the characters here are weird, but... Yeah, so... That's... Pretty much going to do it for this uh, episode of Mugen. I know this was a uh, this was kind of a short episode of Mugen, or at least it is short compared to my uh, other Mugen videos. But I don't know. I just didn't really feel like reviewing uh, that many characters and stages in this part. I don't know. Maybe the next part will be different. I'll try to find some more interesting characters and more stages for uh, making a longer video. But yeah, it's really all I can say. I don't know. I sound like I'm bored out of my mind right now, and I apologize for that, but that's really all I can say for now. So, those are the characters and stages I wanted to review in this part of Mugen, and yeah, that's pretty much it for now. So, thank you for watching. Feel free to like or favorite this video or subscribe. Also, check out my Twitter and Google Plus page. Links are in the description as always, and if you want to download Mugen and play it for yourself, the link's in the description. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for now, so I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later.